That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? This meditation is a reflection on what's most important to you. It's a celebration of your authentic self, your personality and your traits. And hopefully, you'll better understand yourself when we're through. You should be in a comfortable position. It's better if your arms and legs are uncrossed. But please know you don't need to stay absolutely still. Feel free to make little adjustments at any time to allow yourself to feel more comfortable. You cannot do this meditation wrong. This is your time. So with your eyes comfortably closed, go ahead and take in a deep cleansing breath. Hold that breath for the mental count of three. And just let it go whenever you're ready. Let go of any cares or concerns from your day. This is your time. And the only thing you need to do right now is breathe. So allow your breathing to become slow, steady, rhythmic. Just like if you were trying to convince someone that you were sound asleep. Focus your attention on your breathing and keep listening to the sound of my voice. You'll be aware of other sounds and those other sounds will only cause you to relax further because just for now, the world outside is absolutely unimportant to you. This is your time. Breathing in relaxation. Breathing out any tension or discomfort. And as you continue to relax, turn your attention inward to find and celebrate your authentic self. Your authentic self is the person you are truly meant to be, the real you. Who you are at your core, the person you can be if nothing and no one holds you back. And it is absolutely okay if you're not exactly sure who you are right now. Hopefully this reflection helps you to see yourself more clearly regardless of your current perception. Just try and imagine the person you believe yourself to be. Without any judgment, how would you define yourself? Now imagine that you're able to lose everything holding you back. Strip away everything keeping you from reaching your full potential. Allowing self-doubt to dissolve. Insecurities melting away. Imagine things that get in the way of success, like circumstances, maybe a lack of resources, illness, baggage from the past, all that disappearing, all problems dissolving. When all barriers are stripped away, what's left is you, the true character that remains when you're able to express yourself completely. So let's consider what makes you, you. 
begin by reflecting upon your values. What do you value? What is most important to you in life? Where does your sense of right and wrong come from? Just take a moment now to think about your values. Your values help make up the core of who you are. Your values drive your behavior. For example, maybe honesty is something you value. So this is reflected in living your life truthfully. Maybe you value your loved ones. So your life reflects this by the time you spend with them. Maybe you value health. And this is reflected in your life by taking care of yourself. How are your values a part of your everyday life? What else drives your behavior? Think of your motivations. What motivates you? What propels you to take action? What catches your attention? Or what has caught your attention in the past? Think about your energy. Are you laid back and calm? Or are you more energetic? Do you tend to be more reserved? Or maybe you enjoy being vivacious. Would you consider yourself introverted or extroverted? When you're out with a group of people, do you leave feeling energized? Or do you need to take some time for yourself to recharge after that? Would you consider yourself quiet or talkative? In what ways do you show your creativity? We are all creative in our own ways. There's no right or wrong. Maybe you show creativity with your personal style. Or maybe you're very creative in the kitchen. Or maybe you do visual art, music, Maybe you're a creative problem solver. Think of the ways in which you show your creativity. Would you say that you're logical? Or are you more driven by emotions? What sorts of things do you appreciate? What's a little something that can absolutely make your day? What does that say about you? Think of someone you admire. What is it about that person that draws your admiration? What are some of the similarities between you and this person? What characteristics or traits do you share? What sorts of things do you enjoy? Or in other words, what do you like to do?
imagine something that makes you feel truly happy. What is it? Now think of something you accomplished that you're very proud of. It could be something you did earlier today or something years ago. It's entirely up to you. But think about one of your accomplishments now. What's something you've always wanted to do, but haven't yet? What's stopping you? What does that aspiration say about who you are? What are your hopes and dreams? Take a moment to think about that now and how your hopes and dreams connect to your true self. Once again, go ahead and take in a deep, cleansing breath. Hold that breath for the mental count of three. And just let it go whenever you're ready. And remember this authentic self, the real you. Allow yourself permission to be secure in who you truly are. Allow this true self to shine through in everyday life. Give yourself permission for self-expression. Appreciate and love who you are. Simply be your authentic self. Simply be you. <laughs>